Oh yeah, look what we got here. Did you say you got titles for these? Yeah, I think he does have a title for that. For this one? So you guys ready to do a little picking today if you're especially if you're into the old vintage dirt bikes like we are around here we love you know we love all everything we love the cars the dirt bikes you know i love the old harleys and stuff like that but anyway how this one came about is uh a good friend of mine chad uh he is a real estate agent in eastern north carolina over in the wilmington area and he sent me some pictures on a house that he needs to sell and these were left in the barn or the big garage from what I'm understanding and when he sent the pictures they were pushed up in the corner and we couldn't quite tell exactly what any of them were you see the yellow one there and I'm going to throw out pictures as I tell you guys but you see the, the yellow one you could make out that that's a Yamaha as far as I seen the tank and I seen just a little bit of a Y didn't know what size it was but we pretty much had that one nailed and I could look that one up and I think that was about a 77 78 somewhere in that range but the first two were tough they were very tough to pinpoint exactly what they were in the pictures that I was sent we are thinking a Honda has that chrome tank and then uh, another friend of ours who's a big motorcycle collector, vintage dirt bikes, he said, I think that one on the left looks to be a Hodaka. Now, you guys know, I never knew what a Hodaka was. And there's a video, if you guys scroll down, if you're interested in the vintage dirt bikes and stuff like that, there's a video where we pull a Hodaka out of, uh, out of the woods. Now, I had no idea what that even was. I was calling it a Hodaka. And I was, and I was like, what the frick is a Hodaka? I've never heard of that before in my life. You guys seen the video of it. I got a bunch of comments that we need to pull that bike. And then we made a video. We, Jeff and I, my buddy, ended up pulling that bike out of the woods. Then from there, uh, hey, <laughs> And, and talking to a bunch of people who know those kind of bikes is called a Hodaka. You know, they came out in the 70s or whatever. Anyway, never seen one. Didn't even know what the heck it was. And now, my buddy Chad sent me these pictures. And from what I'm understanding and what I'm guessing, we're thinking that they may be Hodakas again. All right, we made it to the place, and apparently in these barns, there's a few old Hadakas. So let's go in here and see what we got. Oh, yeah. I somewhat made a path. Everything's for sale? Ooh, how much you want for that bandsaw? I need, that's wood, man. I need a metal one, though. So we got a Max, Maxima 650. I wonder what year this is. 81, yeah. That's cool. Oh, these things look tinier, man, than what I 
I mean, they're, they're regular bikes, but. So we can pull them out and stuff? Yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, that's locked up. Is it in gear? I think this one here is a 77 from what I've been looking at and stuff. So, this one's cool as shit. So this 77 here, I think it's a 77. First thing I want to do, tank looks good. Give it an old smell test. Oh yeah, nice and varnished. <clears throat> so this one here, I don't see it. Stuff. But what I wanted to do to all these is see if they. Oh, yeah, see, they're freed up. So, yeah, that one, that one's legit. Let's pull out the, uh, let's pull out these Hadakas. So, this is the infamous Wombat 125. This thing is cool as shit, too. And I think this is. Oh, yeah, she's ruined. Big shot. But, uh, this is a 72. So, for everybody that's seen my pictures on Facebook, 72 Wombat. It's called what? The Wombat Combat? Oh, Wombat 125. And it's got, yes, the Hadaka badge on the side. 983 miles, man. This thing's brand new. Oh, yeah. They should be over to So, yeah, this is a bad boy here. I guess, if you're a Hadaka fan. Got the key. Got everything that it needs. All it needs is a little love, which will probably fire. And then let's pull this last one out, which I don't know what this one is. This is another Hadoption. This one is a little more, needs a little more love than I think the other three. Leave me a comment, let me know what this one is. I mean, obviously it's a Hadoption, but what is it? So this is a the 71 as well. They almost look like they're, oh, see, they're almost the same. So this is, I think, they look a little different. It might be another Wombat, I don't know. It says Ace 100 on the side, so that's cool. Let's see if this one's cute. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they kick over. So this is what we're looking at here. 71 Hadakas in the garage barn thing here. Pushed in the corner. My buddy Chad hit me up, asked me if I'm interested. So I drove out here and uh, looked at I'm really digging on that Yamaha though. I think it's cool as crap. I'd love to ride that. So anyway, my brother, 
my brother who moved just moved out down the street from me in Newburn. He's an engineer, works over on uh, Cherry Point. He's really interested in these kind of bikes, these old street bikes, which are cool. So we got a Yamaha 4064 miles. Got a key in it. I was told it does have a title as well. So this thing looks cool. I'd love to do a run in and driving on this as well. We got the, uh, oh yeah. These are, I like these. Ask him, ask him much he wants for that. The old Marvel Mystery Oil, I put them on my shelf. Just a lot of tools and stuff. But anyway, we're here for the bikes. Now we just gotta make a deal on them. Torches are nice too, I always like have torches. I'm on like six freaking pawn shops in Wilmington. And can't find them. So they want to get rid of this stuff? They told me I could have it. Oh, dude, what can I have? Nothing. Can I? Damn bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want this. I want this. This is what I want because I got all my dad's old Adams and tapes. Well, you don't need a receiver, do you? <laughs> what about them speakers? You don't need those. You have that TV? Nah, I don't want them. <laughs> Nah, man, I don't want the TV, bro. Come on. What about the Chilton manuals? I gotta see what they are for, though. They're for uh, a 1972. What's Chilton? For cars, like fix manuals to oh. fix all the. <clears throat> I always look into these if they're like Mopar. I like the Mopar ones, obviously. Because you guys know I'm big Mopar fans. But what is this for here? Buick Cadillac. Oh, this is a GM one. Parts and late. These are all just, uh, see what I'm saying? They like get schematics on how to build Corvair, Pontiac. They trying to get rid of these? Or they want to sell them? Well, let me know, man, because I'll snag a few of these up. What'd you say? I could have these speakers. They're all busted up, dude. Of course they are. They always are, dude. I'll still take them, though, if you don't want them. I don't know if any of that works. I'm sure the receiver will work. I always like to look in these for gold. No gold. Any spiders, man. See an old bike and a. Uh, Yeah, man. A couple seats. Let me see this. Uh, what's up with this door here? What door is this? I have no idea. I bet that's an old boat seat. The, over there, who said they used to have a couple of boats back there? I'd like to get see them bikes. I know it's got to be a Chevy. Ooh, that's a muscle bike, man. Heck yeah. I'll see you right now. Let's get this muscle bike a body. Oh, so that's a that's an old custom 
Oh, it's Ford, I want to say. Yeah, that's a Ford door. I think I Ford. Nice yeah. Oh. Come on, man. It's an old Schwinn, bro. Oh, no, it's not a Schwinn. It's a Roadmaster. Heck, yeah, we're going to get this. Old muscle, old muscle Roadmaster. With the drag slick on the back. Oh, yeah. Barn fine. Barn fine. Let's see what else they've got in here. These are, these ones are, uh, yeah, and they ain't into that crap. Watch out. Oh, I see it had a, like an upstairs or something. Yeah, those are, uh, these ain't no wooden wheels, are they? No. It's old, but. Let's see what's in here. Oh, lawnmower stuff. Stick my. I gotta stick my head down there, dude. Hopefully you don't fall in on me. I got you. Why? I don't know. Just have to. Alright guys, that's about it on this one. Quick pick. Went through a couple of dilapidated barns. That's where I got that bike. Hopefully I got video of that. It's hard to pull a bike when you uh, are trying to video at the same time. And my buddy didn't want to be in any of the videos. So it's like, man, <laughs> it's getting a little tough on me here. But that we, so the Hadakas, we pulled them out as you see in the video, the Yamaha and uh, street bike. And um, we gave a, uh, we gave an offer on them and we'll see what they do. And Maybe we could go back and grab them up out of there, but until then, I mean, they're decent bikes, you know, they are, you seen, I mean, they definitely need a little bit of love, but you know, where are you going to find Hadakas these days that are a Wombat that's that together, you know, you do, you can't, but anyway, if you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, we do like doing some picking here and there, it's not always about cars, even though cars is the number one thing but every once in a while we try to do some something different but anyway you know the deal my name's brad poor boys garage let them rip not rot keep on saving them don't send them to the crusher we hate that and that property you've seen is 60 something acres and i think it's going to be in the 700s from what my buddy chad was telling me uh, and uh man i would love to grab that maybe one day maybe if i ever become youtube famous i doubt it anyway I am out, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate you.